In this video, we will look at open graded porous asphalt, otherwise known as OGPAR, in a little bit more detail. Open graded porous asphalt, or OGPAR, is short as a, a gap graded mixture of fine and coarse aggregates. You will recall that a gap grading means that it has normal, normal proportions of fine and coarse particles, but much lower proportions of intermediate sized materials such as sands. In this case, that results in 18 to 25 percent of the asphalt being voids. The voids result in the mix being porous. Porosity means that water can flow through it. Gap grading may also be known as open grading. Hence the name, open graded porous asphalt. It is an asphalt that is designed to allow water to flow through it. The advantage of this is that surface water does not have to flow over the road surface to the channel or drain system. Instead, it flows straight down into the asphalt, as shown in this diagram. The OGPAR is constructed on an impermeable surfacing, usually a chip seal. So the water flows down to the impermeable surface, then flows along the surface to the collector drainage system. This diagram shows how OGPAR works. Some aggregate particles are shown apart, but remember that parts of the particles will be in contact to distribute the road loadings down to the base course. In effect, we have two surfacings fulfilling the dual functions of a road as a running surface and a waterproofing layer. One, the OGPAR, provides the running surface for the vehicles, while the other, the seal beneath the waterproofing, provides, sorry, the seal beneath the OGPAR provides the waterproofing. OGPAR has different mixes according to the grading and amount of voids in the mix. All OGPAR is prefixed with PA, for porous asphalt, then the maximum aggregate size, and in some mixes, an indication of the void content and resulting shear strength. The last content may be HS, which is high strength, and lower void ratio, or HV, which means high voids, which means about 25 to 30% voids, which gives superior noise reduction and better drainage. However, it needs additives in the binder to provide the required strength. So PA15HS is a porous, porous asphalt with a maximum aggregate size of, 20, of 15 millimeters and a lower void ratio, while PA25HV is a porous asphalt with a maximum 25 millimeter aggregate size and 25 to 30% voids. I suggest you have a look at the specification to familiarize yourself with these gradings in a little bit more detail. So the specification to look at is TNZP11, which is the requirements for open graded porous asphalts. The requirements are very similar to that for stone mastic asphalt and chip sealing chips in that the aggregate needs to have angular particles, crushing resistance above 230 kilonewtons, which is the same as for sealing chip, weathering quality index AA or BA, 1% maximum of weak particles, a particle shape of 2.25 maximum, and a rough microstructure. This graph shows the grading envelope of a PA14 mix. The envelope is the same as the one for the SMA14 mix, which is the stone mosaic, sorry, stone mastic asphalt mix we looked at in the previous video. The curve shows an aggregate with a high proportion of coarse aggregate hardly any coarse sand, and quite a bit of fine aggregate. That is, it is a gap-graded aggregate to provide the voids required to make the mix porous. As mentioned, this grading envelope is the same as that for a stone mastic asphalt, but the open-graded asphalt is porous, and the stone mastic asphalt is not. It is impermeable. This is because there is less binder with the porous asphalt. So there are voids in the mix which allow water to pass through, whereas the stone mastic asphalt has the voids filled with extra binder to give it its high strength, which closes off the voids, making the stone mastic asphalt impermeable. That is, water does not flow through it.